My name is Jan Vincent Kleine. I'm an adventure and expedition documentary photographer, originally based in Germany. For me, the most challenging part was before arriving to Cape Town. Because usually, as a photographer, you have all this pre-production. And here, I knew that it would have to be a lot of improvising without having any substantial preparations. Prisons. Three, two, one. <laughs> right. Oh, it's the prompt. Okay. Everyday athletes, unexpected performances. It's probably in the human nature. In the weeks leading up to the event, the excitement grows. And then when it actually starts, all the tension falls off. And I believe this is probably similar to an athlete. My hope would be for these next couple of days, because we're all kind of out of our comfort zones, that we might be able to just consider it as something that is like a playful experience. Shooting the prompt and coming up with these ideas in the field, improvised, is already kind of challenging. But on top of that, shooting that with a camera that you've never had in your own hands adds a certain extra amount of nervousness or excitement. So, I will hand out some brand new Z6 threes. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> oh my god. My first impression was the body size fits my hands much better than the original Z6 and Z7 series and that the whole camera felt essentially as responsive as I'm used to from the Z8 and Z9. So before the prompt was revealed to us, I already hoped that there would be an opportunity to do something climbing related. So during this warm-up session, I saw these boulders lying there. I was like, this is the location where I feel actually inspired to do something with the prompt. I feel like this place has a lot of potential for this graphic minimalism, which I'm striving for. I feel like it's an incredibly beautiful place. We are somewhat concerned that granite here is extremely spiky. <sighs> Climber and photographer have to work together in order to create something in any way meaningful. I have to understand what the climber can do and the climber has to understand what my goal in an aesthetic way is. Just being there for 20 minutes with her gave me peace of mind that she likes the place. But I do have to say I was still worried because it is these granite rocks. So I knew if we do this there, we would only have very limited time. So that gave me the challenge to be extremely efficient with the time that she actually spends on the rock. My goal was to capture some of the essence of climbing. In a way, the rock formations are a canvas. They are an invitation to explore, to read the rock and to see challenges and opportunities. So, over the last couple of years, I had the privilege to shoot with the best climbers in the world. But the prompt in this case was an everyday athlete. And Nadira, she is not a professional climber. She has just this extreme passion for climbing. So I felt like she fits the prompt perfectly and immediately understood the concept of the prompt. So right now we're waiting for the sun to diffuse just a tiny bit in order for this shadow to go away to make it a little more graphical. I really love these graphic formal compositions and here we have her in this perfectly formal setting with essentially just dark and monochromatic background, which I think is very, very beautiful. Yeah, 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 much nicer, much nicer. I believe as a photographer, you want to evoke some form of emotion in your work. You can immediately see in the face if this is an honest, happy reaction. So my goal with this project and with the camera was not just to create photos, but also to try out the video capabilities of the camera. Because in my field of work, having this hybrid capabilities is extremely important. And she has such an inspiring story to tell. 
that I actually decided, okay, I have to sit down with her at some point to learn more about her. It was just planned to be a quick test of the video capabilities. And you know what I heard from her was just really inspiring in a sense. I am being allowed to play in nature, and nature is allowing me to play in its space. Climbing is incredibly exciting, it's invigorating, There's, it's actually euphoric, I would say. Climbing is euphoric. It helps you to believe in yourself, it helps you to form trust with yourself and with your environment, it builds confidence. Taking up space specifically as a, a female and as a person of color, it feels it's really empowering um, to know that I can take up the space and that I do it with confidence. Climbing is done or feels better when it's shared with other people. And when it comes to self-empowerment or just feeling empowered in general, I think I'd like to share that with uh, people who come from a disadvantaged background, you know, who've never experienced just a fraction of what I have with climbing and just how much uh, it helps you develop as a person. I believe that Nadira's story is way too important to just appear in a vignette from a test run of the camera, actually. She deserves a proper documentary approach that does her and her cause justice. And I wouldn't have any doubts to bring the Z63 along for that. The more frames per second you can shoot, the more flexibility you have with a certain outcome. A full 4K 120, yeah. that I found yeah, very yeah, impressive. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. While the camera is able to switch from an incredible stills camera to an incredible film camera within just the switch of a button, my brain is not. So that puts a lot of tension on me because I have to see everything as an opportunity. It is very tight on time and it's a lot going on in my head. And I feel like if I wouldn't have such a cool climber talent and if I didn't have a camera that I feel very comfortable with, it would be such a mess. So when I'm out on projects like this, my mind is racing with getting the results. I like to be surrounded only by equipment that I know don't take any extra amount of brain capacity. Because there's some spree sea spray coming over here, it's actually turned out to be quite a cold day. So we have to be really fast now. She will now climb up this narrow gap. So I know from nice. the Z8 and the Z9 that everything is just automatic. It's muscle memory for me. I don't have to think about any setting whatsoever. I know that the camera just does everything I would want it to do in all conditions. Okay, uh, turn your body in that direction and look in that direction, please. Yeah. So I very quickly start to realize, okay, I, I don't need to worry about this camera. I can rely on the autofocus pointing it towards the face. It finds the that eye. Was awesome. cool. When you start to realize, okay, results are coming in, that is when the mind relaxes a bit and then you can actually focus on, on enjoying the process. I mean, what a day, seriously. Camera did a fantastic job. Nadira did a fantastic job, so I'm happy. You've all had an amazing few days, being able to be some of the first photographers to shoot with the Nikon Z63. And the twist on that is that you've all been given this prompt that's allowed you to be a bit creative, but trying to head to that same direction. So I'm really excited to see what you've all shot. I feel like what made this project special is that you have other photographers on set as well to share the experience, to share the excitement for the new product and to create something together, not against each other. So I thought for a photographic series, which, which focuses on climbing and the passion of climbing and the beauty of climbing, you know, the, the rock is the canvas for the creativity of the climber. I'm fascinated by AI. I'm fascinated by technology. I'm fascinated what is possible. But photography to me is a process. So it's not just about the final result. If it were to come from an AI, I feel like personally it has no soul because essentially photography is about 
the end interaction it is about the process, the learning and somehow trying to capture the essence of what you see with the audience. Because, you know, there is an actual human story in it and in the end I am emotionally attached to a human story.